so glad to have all of you guys here to, to hear about and learn about uh, what for me, and this is my I'm going on 20 years in the real estate industry. And, you know, 20 years ago, we were doing things that at the time were, were pretty innovative. Like that was before Google and we were feeding listings from our website up into these search engines, which were a new thing kind of at the, the break of, of, of the 2000s. And uh, we, we generated lots of leads. In fact, the early days of, of SEO and the early days of Google pay-per-click, if you knew what you were doing, there was a really good chance that you could generate a lot of leads at a really affordable cost. And for years, that's not been the case, okay? We've, uh, the, the PPC, the pay-per-click costs have been driven up, especially as you know, people like Google and Realtor.com and Redfin, some of these companies that, that have a lot of money can go in and, and play in those pools. And the SEO game is exceedingly difficult to, to compete against the people like Zillow and, and Trulia and Realtor.com. But th there has come onto the horizon recently um, some new advertising options for us. And, and so we've taken a bunch of those options and we've basically baked them into a really powerful ad product that I'm excited to share with you guys today. So let's, let's get in here and let's dive in to Brevity Connect. So the, the first, we kind of set out to, to solve some problems. And, you know, in, in Ben Kinney's business, the owner of Brevity, you know, he, he has a real estate business and we have teams operating in, in these days, like 60 locations around the country. So we've got a market just like the market that you sell real estate in, highly likely. And we, you know, over the years, we, we've always kind of known that there were some problems with, with internet leads, both from the consumer perspective and from the agent perspective. And so here, here's what some of those problems have been, right? On the consumer side, often like they don't remember where they visited or how you got their info. Now it's been a number of years since I've called leads of myself, but I've called thousands of leads in my time. And it was not uncommon to have somebody be like, wait, um, yeah, I was on a couple websites. Yes. I don't know. Like I was clicking around on the internet. And so a lot of times like they don't even know how I got their information. Right. Um, often they don't know why we're contacting them, especially if we're, you know, somebody that doesn't jump on our leads right away and kind of call them in that first hour, right? Even if you're calling them 24 hours later, who knows what they've been doing in that next 24 hours. So sometimes they don't know why we're contacting them, especially initially, right? When they answer the phone, right? They're very defensive. They're, they're kind of like, Hey, back up. Like, who are you? Right. Right there. They don't know who we are. Okay. And, and not only that, like, and I think maybe even more important than they don't know who we are because we can get past that with a really good script right when we hit the phone with them, right? Or, or that first great text message going out to them. They don't care who we are. And part of the reason that they don't care who we are is because they're not ready to buy, sell, or invest today, right? The average internet lead is nine months away from, from starting to go out and look at houses. And, and in, these, in today's markets, it might be another two, three, four, five months before they find the perfect house because there's not much inventory, right? So this person is nine to, to, you know, in some cases as much as two years away from buying or selling when they first come online and start looking. So they're not, they don't care who we are. Not only do they not know who we are, they don't care. And it's because they're not ready today. Now, this creates a, a similar but slightly different set of problems for you as the agent who's working these leads. Or if you run a team for all of the agents on your team who might be working your internet leads, okay? And those problems are, we, we don't know what their intent is, right? Sometimes we get leads from, from somewhere and, and maybe we just get a name, an email, and a phone number. And we're like, um, I guess when I call them, I'm just going to say, hey, um, I think maybe you were thinking about doing something in real estate. I'm not sure what, but I, you know, I, I help with those kinds of things, right? Like we don't know what their intent is. We don't know enough about their wants and their needs. Again, a lot of times we're just getting a, a name and email and a phone number. Maybe if they're a brevity lead in the past, you've gotten like one property that they were looking at when they were on your website, right? That's pretty common and, and not uncommon with, with, you know, a Zillow lead, right? You're going to have one property at least, but that's it. Right. And you don't know if that was their, I call it the rich dead uncle property, right? The one that like they wish they could buy if that rich dead uncle was just pass away or, you know, but if they looked at 
20 properties, we'd have a lot better idea of their wants and needs. But most of the time, we get one property, if that. We have to make cold calls because they don't recognize us or our brand. And, you know, it's a little bit easier than just going and picking the phone book up and just calling in to a, to a bunch of people, right? But a lot of times, we're, those calls, especially after that first day, right? I mean, look, in a perfect world, we're, we're jumping on the phone within minutes, potentially, of our lead coming in. But if, if it's 24 hours, if it's a week later, if you're going into your database, and I know a lot of you guys have old leads in your database, if you went and called the lead that had registered on your website a year ago, that is a cold call, right? If they haven't had any interaction with you since they registered on your website a year ago, they don't remember, they don't remember that day they did that thing, right? You guys call people and they go, what? I don't put my number anywhere. And you're like, actually, I know you did. You put it on Zillow. I actually talked to you two years ago when you did it on Zillow, right? But I haven't followed up in two years. Most of our calls into our database are cold calls. It, most of these leads, they don't ever come back to our website. Now, if you're a Brivity user and you use um, listing alerts at a high level, right? Every single buyer lead gets a listing alert. You're, you're going to be driving more people back than somebody who's not doing that. But most of these people, in fact, it's a very, very tiny percentage actually just know your website and go type it in and come to your website. That's not how, you know, we, most people when they're in the like Facebook, Google, they click on something and they get on your website, they, the, the, the actual URL, you know, your website address, it doesn't even register in their brain. It's just a page they were on on the internet. It was up there in their browser. Maybe they looked at it, but there was a whole bunch of stuff up there, right? So they don't just come back because they remember our site. And then we don't convert enough of our old leads and, and even our sphere there and, and our past clients. There are these ridiculous stats that come out of the NAR home buyer and seller survey every year that, that tell us that we actually do a really great job customer service wise in this industry. People walk out of buying and they're, they're highly satisfied with the job you guys did for them. Highly satisfied. 75% of them are highly likely to use you again. Another 15% are likely to use you again. But our, our old buyers, only 26% of them turn into sellers with us. The, the last year NAR did this study. They do it every year. Well, last year's stats, 26% of sellers worked with the agent they sold with. Right? I bet that you guys, you don't get every deal that happens in your sphere. Right? our sphere, our past clients, and our old leads, they, they don't remember us on a daily basis, right? Maybe if you're some of the best in the industry, you can get to a place where you're, you're constantly reminding your sphere of who you are, your past clients. But on, in general, we don't do a good enough job of this, especially our old leads. So what would it be like if we could target individuals who are ready to buy, sell, or invest? Like that's high five. Everybody says, yes, yes, please. I want that. What about instead of just showing them properties on your website, we continue to show them properties across the web after they left, right? Not just when they're on your site, but, but when they leave, we're gonna start dropping properties in front of them wherever they go. What if when they were just on the internet, didn't matter where they went, what if your brand, your logo, your name, and your offers to help them were everywhere they went? They went to CNN, it was there. They lean right, they go to Fox News, it's there. Their, their wife leans left, they go, she goes to MSNBC, it's there. ESPN, it's there. Your local newspaper, Bellingham Herald, is where I sit right now in Bellingham, Washington. It's on there. It's on the Seattle Times. I don't know, Franklin, Tennessee, Joey, I don't know what your newspaper is, my friend, but we can make sure that it's there when, you're, when your past clients and sphere and, and your leads go there. That'd be pretty sweet. All of, our, all of our old leads, all of our past clients, all of those sphere, they always had us top of mind because when they were traveling the interwebs, when they were playing Candy Crush at night on their phone, there we are. What if sellers, sellers that, that we could get, and we're going to talk about how this, this actually works, but what if all the seller prospects, right, which might be your sphere and your past clients, by the way, it might be a bunch of old seller leads you had. What if they just see us everywhere? What if after a while they start to think to themselves, my goodness, Linda Holmes must spend millions of dollars on advertising down there in sunny Southern California. She's everywhere I go. She's on the Wall Street Journal. She's on the New York Times. We built it. It's called Brivity Connect. Let, let's kind of dive you guys into to, to what it is. But first, let's, let's, so we have right now, you guys, about 
I just had the list sent over to me last night. I want to say it was 79 people, I think, with another one that's about to board. So we're, we, we, we're at 80 folks, 80 Brivity teams that have started Brivity Connect. And we bad team, you know, we were running a really, really tight beta seven or eight months ago. The bulk of these folks have come on in the last two months. We're going to open this thing up to the next group of 20 people today. Here's what Phil had to say. And you guys, it's been on the screen, so I'm sure you guys have all read it, right? I mean, the, those are pretty decent numbers. Like he had 148 leads. That's almost silly when I think back over my career on the amount of effort it would have taken us in, in different times in our career to get 148 leads. Um, and you can, they're not, I mean, he, he was new, right? This is his first 20 days. He's, but he's, he's actually had five buyer's agency agreements signed in the first 20 days. That's not bad. Oh, oh, by the way, that his cost per lead is over 50% less than he was spending. So if you've spent on leads before, you, you know what you used to spend. Phil's spending half as much as he used to spend. Jacqueline, she's, she's been on this, one of the longest people that's been on this. She is a, um, an expansion partner of Ben Kinney, the owner of Brivity. Jacqueline's team is getting a 10x return on the dollars that they're spending right now on Brivity Connect. They had what I would call an anomaly, by the way. Um, an accepted contract four days after a Brevity Connect lead came in. That's not common. Don't expect that, but it happens. The reason I, I want to show you guys Ken's really quick before we get in and I show you kind of what this program is, is in early on, if you guys have agent, you have a team and you've got agents that work on your team and you've been doing this for any amount of time, you've probably at some point had an agent or maybe today you've got multiple agents who have that attitude of these leads stink, right? I call these leads, they don't answer. I put Ken's on here because in the first like week, his agents felt like it was better. Now look guys, I don't know if it was better. We'll show you what we do, right? But just the mentality of going into each day on the Ken Adams team and then thinking to themselves, I like these leads. These are good leads. And, and again, there'll be some reasons and we'll show you some of those reasons. But that's important. Jeff Ellert, so this is a, he's one of our, our largest spenders. He's got some really high goals. He sells real estate in, in the Las Vegas area. I'm actually going to show you an example and we're going to talk about one of the campaigns that we're running for Jeff today. So what is it? Well, kind of at a very high level, what it is, is we take your brand, your properties or properties from the MLS and your website, and we follow people around the internet wherever they go. Okay, so it starts, and this is kind of a diagram of what Brivity Connect looks like. So we are capturing leads for you guys. New leads, right? Not people currently in your database, new leads. And we're gonna have a variety of different ad sets that we're running. And it's going to be based specifically, and this is one of the reasons we can only take 20, 20, we're only taking 20 teams on at a time right now, because Sarah, who's on the call with me here in the background, her and Grant are actually going to do a call with you guys where we analyze, like, what kind of leads do you want to get? And, and, and we have a discussion around your business. And these guys are experts at it. They've been doing it for years. They know how to generate leads. And they know how to kind of coax out of you what type of buyer and seller you'd be most interested in connecting with. And, and we'll do Jeff's example here in a little bit. So I can kind of bring that to life for you guys, but we're going to have, we're going to, we're going to be generating leads for you. Really, really affordable leads. Like some, of, in fact, I, not since the early two thousands and the, and the, the kind of PPC plays before anybody really knew how to do it. And there wasn't very many of us doing it. Have we been able to get leads at this affordable cost? Um, and then we're going to engage those leads, right? We're going to, we're going to target them in, in, in multiple different ways. And we're going to talk about, about that. And then it's going to lead to ultimately easier conversions for you guys. Okay. So I want you to like envision that the bottom line here is what your, what traditionally it's looked like the kind of the journey of a real estate lead. And Look, we wish that everybody that signed up on our website was going to like buy a house today, right? Tracy, who just joined us from Tulsa, like Tracy, it'd be awesome if everybody that signed up on our website, like we were like, oh, we just call them and they're like, ready to buy a house. But these people are somewhere in their journey. 
Okay. Every lead we get in our database is somewhere in their journey. Some of those people have horrible credit, no down payment, and their journey is just getting started. It's going to end seven years from now when they buy a house. Some of those people own a house today. They got a ton of equity. They see their house is selling around them for a lot of money and they want to move to Mesa, Arizona. That's where our people move, right? And their, their journey is like, it's going to be fast. It's going to happen in the next month. Right. And there's this massive variation in between that guy who's not going to buy for seven years and that person that's going to buy, you know, this weekend at an open house or this month. And we never know where, when these leads come, we don't know where on the journey they're at. Now we want, Tracy's like, I, I want them to get on my schedule. My schedule says they're going to buy a house this month, right? Cause I got goals to hit and that's fine and good. But generally what happens is if they're not on our time frame. Right, April, if they're not on our time frame, Andrew King, what do we do? A lot of times the bottom path is what a lead, what lead follow-up looks like for a lead that's not on our timeline. Right? We maybe call them once the first day, maybe, and I've looked at thousands of databases, you guys. Maybe they get a second or third call. It's very rare that your lead gets a fourth or fifth call. Okay, maybe they got some, e some, some emails and some text messages. If you use Brevity and you use Ben Kinney's 10 Days of Pain, they got a pretty aggressive start, right? That first 10 to 12 days for them, there was a lot of communication that happened there. Maybe you have listing alerts. That's good. Okay. But some of these people don't buy for two years. And like, how much effort are you putting in over two years? The top represents what a lead may look like. Kind of each one of those little dashes being just a touch point right? An exposure could be an ad they saw on CNN, right? Could be an ad they saw when they were playing Candy Crush, could be properties that we served up to them and they were scrolling on Instagram or Facebook, right? Could be the, the 10 days of pain, the auto text, could be the listing alerts that are still going to be going, right? This is another layer. Brevity Connect becomes another layer, right? The display ad retargeting, the dynamic property retargeting. This becomes a layer that we lay over whatever you do today. And look, we're always at Brevity trying to get you to do a little bit more to convert your leads because we know how hard traditionally it's been. What we want to do is give you this layer that you can lay over your existing leads, your old leads, the new leads that we can bring in for you, right? This layer of kind of coverage. That's what this slide represents. So you're not just hiring. I, I'm constantly blown away. Some of the smartest people in real estate that I've ever met insist on running their own advertising campaigns. And I get it, they, they're smart people, but, but they don't do it all day long. Like if you try to run your own leads, you're basically a FISBO, right? Like I promise you if, if whoever might've, if you put them, if you came in the room with Sarah Kang, who's on our call here today and Grant Gould, and you sat them down, you squared off like your lead gen skills against their lead gen skills, they're perfect, this is what they do. Just like you guys sell houses and, and, and that's why FISBOs get less money when they list themselves than when they list with you guys. You're going to pay more than if you do this against a professional and you're actually competing against those professionals. But so you're hiring a team here to kind of work behind you, right? You've got Grant and Sarah who, who manage the strategy, right? We've got one person who all they do is analyze these campaigns to make sure that there's nothing we could tweak and make a little bit better. Right? We've got designers that go out and build the designs from you after you have the consultation and you guys let us know kind of what, what can we do to promote you? How do you want to be promoted? How do you want to be seen by your sphere and your past clients? Right? We go out and build designs. So we've got this kind of support team that lives behind you. You're not just kind of buying this like set it and forget it type of a, of a, of a lead program. So here, let's dive into the capture a little bit more because this, this is important, right? Lead quality matters. And look, the other internet leads, we're going to name, email, phone number. And look, these days, if you had a system like Brivity, Boomtown, Sync, one of those, right? You probably got a property viewed. You, you know what property they looked at, right? But we do have lead sources out there, many of them. In fact, some of you guys that are running Facebook ads, maybe yourself, or you're doing them through some other system, they're almost, they're even hard to kind of keep track of if you've got multiple ads running. Well, which, which property did this one come off of? Right? And we can do tags and different things. But a Brivity Connect lead, we're, we're name, email, and phone number always, okay? Time frame, 
property viewed, we can see the return visits because we immediately start to re-engage them to try to drive them back over and over, whether that listing order got set up or not, okay? The, the intent questions, this is kind of a, a key differentiator, I believe. We can ask these people and get answers to whatever question you want. Here's a very common one that we ask. Do you currently own a home that you'll need to sell? Very common question, right? Those intent questions, we can ask as many of them as, as we want. So when you do your consultation with Grant or Sarah, you can tell us. Roman, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I don't know specifically, but I'll find you one if we have one. You can tell us what questions you want. Now, here's the deal, though. If you say, look, I want these 10 questions answered, what's going to happen? And we've been doing this for a while now. It tends to be, and this is a little bit market specific, but it tends to be every additional question you want to get answered raises the cost of our leads somewhere between a dollar and two dollars a lead. So we can get you as many, we can get you kind of as much as you want there, but the, the cost of the leads goes up a little bit. When you ask somebody a question on a form, it's just natural that you're going to get, you know, every question you add, you get a few more people that, that aren't willing to answer that many questions and they bounce. So there's the lead volume here is, is extensive. It, it has even caused some of our Ben Kinney teams to have to reach out to us and say, hey, I got to pause these. I, we can't keep up right now. There's too many coming in. Or we've reduced the budget or something like that. But they're, they're qualified and engaged. I'm gonna, we're going to show you in this next piece, the engagement piece, like why they're engaged. Faster conversion times, more motivated agents. That's huge, right? We can have smarter communication. The more activity we can get from them and capture from them, the more behavior that we can see, the smarter our communications can become. If I have one property, I'm calling and talking about that one property. If I've got 25 properties they've looked at, I can see they're looking in a, in a certain part of town. I can see that they're always looking at something with at least four bedrooms, right? The conversation I can have becomes smarter. When I'm trying to reach out to that lead, I'm sending texts or I'm, I'm leaving messages or, or maybe even I get them on the phone. I can have a smarter conversation. The website traffic we've seen, so look, I, I don't know today if you're maximizing your database in terms of driving people to your website. Like, do you have over 50% of your database set up on a listing alert? That's a, that's, a, that's a threshold for all of our teams, right? So we have these teams that already are, we're maximizing brevity to drive traffic back to their website, right? They were already, and here comes the code off. They were already, had, I mean, we have some teams that have 80% of the database set up on a listing alert. It doesn't matter. The even teams of that nature have seen their website traffic go from somewhere between 50 and 100% more website traffic within a week of engaging Brevity Connect. So here's kind of what, here's what we do. Okay, so it used to be prior to the 2016 election on Facebook, you could target lots of stuff. They didn't even put restrictions on us as real estate professionals from targeting things that could get us in trouble with fair housing laws. We used to be able to target on age, ethnicity. Like, that's insane when you think about it. And that was only four years ago. But the 2016 elections changed Facebook's targeting. Um, and, and even more so, Facebook realized that they were giving real estate agents the chance to kind of shoot themselves in the foot. And so they created this special housing category. So our ads go into this housing category. And because they're in the housing category, Facebook has, has massively restricted what you can target. So here's how we target. We give the ad to Facebook, right? And, and at first, in your area, after some consultation with you, we basically are asking Facebook to give us the best people. Now, I want you to think about, I don't know if anybody, has any, check in with me here. Has anybody seen the movie, The Social Dilemma? It's a, it's a documentary on Netflix. And it's equal parts fascinating and scary, I guess. Um, if, I didn't, if we weren't involved in the advertising side of, of Facebook, I probably would have watched that thing and just been like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. Like I'm turning my Facebook off. I'm deleting my phone. And none of you guys have seen it. Somebody's seen it. The, the, there we go. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Bridget. 
the the premise of of that at least what I got out of it, the social dilemma is these networks, Google, Facebook, these ad networks that are out there, they are, yeah, scary. <laughs> Thank you, Rob, Linda. Um, they are specifically built though for one reason. They are specifically built for advertising revenue. Like, that's why Facebook, that's why they show me, like they show me uh, hats and shoes. Guys, I have a problem. I, I'm a hat addict and a shoe addict and I buy, buy way too many of both of those things and Facebook knows. And the, you wanna know the other thing though that Facebook treats me as? They treat me as a real estate consumer because I'm on all your guys' websites all the time, right? So in Facebook's mind, they're like, or Google, they're like, this guy is something, real estate, this guy for sure. So I get tons of real estate ads too. And I click on them all the time because I want to see what people are doing and what their landing pages are. And I'm always like doing research on, on ads. But now that now I'm, I'm, I'm a hat guy, I'm a shoe guy, and I'm a real estate guy in, in Facebook's mind. Now, Facebook knows a crap ton about everybody, right? They know that this is how, this is how powerful it is. Like they know that let's say there's two people, right? One person not thinking about buying real estate at all Another person may be slightly considering it. Here's the type of stuff that they're analyzing. As I scroll through my feed, right? And I'm the person that doesn't think about real estate ads. When they put a real estate ad up in front of that person really quick and they don't even slow down, right? That's different than the other person that like, they slow down. And they're like, ooh, look at these houses. And it's one of these carousel ads. So maybe they, they flip through a few of them, but they don't click. And then they go about their scroll way. Right away, Facebook's like, hey, this guy right over here, did you see what he did? He slowed down. He scrolled right and left on the, on the carousel. Who's, who's going to get shown that ad next? The same ad or a slightly variable ad. It's going to be the guy that slowed down and did, did a little bit of scrolling. Right? And then just that, that little concept put steroids in it because they got data about us from everywhere, right? Look, I don't know this is true. There's this, uh, I just believe it to be true. They're listening to us. <laughs> I know how they are. Like sometimes I'll say Lamborghini. And I'll have a Lamborghini ad like in my Facebook feed in an hour. Yeah, Jenny, you shouldn't watch it. It's, it's slightly scary. But the cool thing is from our perspective, right? You guys that are here, we, we can take advantage of that, right? Look, I don't actually care. I love the fact that they show me hats and, and shoes. I'm a little bit concerned that they're listening to me, but whatever. I'm not, I don't have anything to hide, I guess. So this is, this is um, Jeff Ellert. So part of the process that we, that we go through with you guys is we talk to you about what's going on in your market and what types of buyers and sellers you would like to attract. So when Jeff came to us, he's in Las Vegas. He, he, start, he was one of our very first Brevity Connect clients. Um, not, I wouldn't call it at the height of the pandemic, right? But this is like July in Vegas. So I want you guys to conjure back to July in Vegas. Anybody ever been to Vegas in July? I have my, I was, my birthday's in July. So my 21st birthday is like the only time I've ever been in, in Nevada or Vegas in, in the summer is because it's miserable. It's 112 degrees, right? 109. Like the misties don't even hit you. They evaporate before they land on you from the sidewalks. So when Jeff approached us, what was happening in his market right there, they had the pandemic. So all the local, like if you had, you lived in a, in a condo complex, for example, that had a pool or you lived in a community and they have these in Vegas, right? That have community pools. The pools were shut down. So during that time, what was happening is they had a lot of people in his market that were trying to get out to Henderson, which is this neighboring town outside of Vegas, where you can basically pay, you know, just a little bit more than what you'd pay for the, the home with the community pool here. And you can go get a house out in Henderson with your own pool. And so he started targeting buyers who might want to be moving out to Henderson, looking at homes between 500,000 and a million with a pool. Because he knew the trends. He knew what was happening in his market right there. So we, we, and this isn't the only campaign we built for this guy, but we, we put a campaign out there and said, look, we know we got these people in Vegas that want to move out to Henderson. The, the flip side of getting a buyer who's going to go to Henderson and buy a, a house with a pool between 500 and a million is what? Those aren't first time home buyers in his market. Now in Seattle, 500,000 might be the first time home buyer spot, right? But in, in Vegas, the people that are going to go out to Henderson and, and 500 to a million with a pool, they own something right now in Las Vegas. They're going to have to sell it before they move out to Henderson, right? So 
we let we let Facebook do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of getting the ads in front of the right people because that's what they do. Their whole business is predicated on that, and it's it's a really valuable business to them. So they're good at that. Now here's what it looks like, the, and this is a really important concept right here. So the league comes in, right? They they're scrolling Facebook. Facebook's putting the ads in front of the right people. The right people are going, yeah, I'm thinking about going out to Henderson. I'm so tired of this pool being shut down, right? And then they 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 click learn more on one of the properties. Immediately, we're using Facebook Forms, okay? So Facebook fills the information out for them. They don't have to fill anything out. Facebook has a surprisingly, to me anyway, a shocking number of phone numbers on file for a bunch of us. They have my phone number, and I'm sitting here thinking back, I don't remember ever giving them my phone number, but they've got it. And when I go and fill a Facebook form out, my phone number pops in there. I'm sure I could get rid of that somehow, but I'm like most people. I, I haven't. Now, when they, when they say next, after they've not even filled in information, just basically just looked at it and went, yep, that's me, right, and hit next, this little, I call this an interstitial page that says, okay, you're ready to head off and, and see your photos and your details now. When they click see details and photos, we take them through to your website, logged in. Creates an account on your website for them, logs them in. This is a really big deal. I can't tell you how big of a deal this is for a few reasons. First off, now, whenever they come back to your website, there's a high likelihood they're going to remain logged in because they're unless they dump their cash or something, and most people don't do that. But, but maybe even more important is we got this lead that we passed through to your website, so now we can track that property they looked at, right? So that's in the CRM for you. But they can go out and start looking at other stuff now. They don't have to log in again. And at basically every other system doing this today, when after you capture them in Facebook, you pass them somewhere, but they're not logged in. Like we had to programmatically, it took us a long time to set this up so that we could feed all of these unique kind of identifiers up to Facebook. So that if some random person clicked on the ad, we could get them over there and log them in and allow you to track them anytime they come back and allow us to track them once they leave. Now it's not really us tracking them. We leave it to Facebook and it's all anonymous, right? We're passing these pixels back and forth. So we built this thing called Zach, which is kind of this, it, it does a few things, but it's zealously and accurately checks houses. So Zach is what goes out and, and basically builds the ad sets, okay? Brings the data from the MLS and, and kind of is the intermediary pushing that data up to Facebook and some of these other ad networks that we use, okay? To, to make sure that the right houses are being displayed to the right people. And then as those people start coming back, to our website or, or even make that first visit and look at a few properties, what we do is we analyze what they're doing on your website, then we feed back up to Facebook catalogs of listings similar to the listings they were looking at on your website so that the next time that they're in Facebook, if they've looked at it, five houses in Bellingham between four and 500,000, they're gonna start to see ads for Bellingham four to 500,000. Here's what one of those ads, this is Seattle, I guess, it's 550 to 750 or something. So your ads, so targeted to a specific audience. Again, we let Facebook do the heavy lifting here, but there's something we do. There's another layer on this, okay? Over time, we start to take certain behaviors on your website. And we're not just doing this on your website. We're doing it on right now, the other 79 people that have... Um, Brevity Connect, we're doing it on the other 2,500 websites that don't, aren't running Brevity Connect. We are analyzing what high value activity looks like, right? So for example, somebody came to your website and they registered through Facebook, they looked at one property and they never came back. That's not a high value activity, right? But somebody came through your Facebook um, ad, they registered on a property, then they looked at five more properties, then they got your listing alert the next day and they came back and they favorited two, and they set up their own search, that's high value activity, right? They're, they're really engaged. So what we do is we, we pool all those people that are doing those high target activities, things we've determined are you know, indicative of buyer and seller behavior. And then we give that data back to Facebook and we go, hey, Facebook, you've sent us a bunch of stuff. We've had all these people that have been on the website, but this subset of them, these these thousand visitors right here, we want more people like this. And we train them 
we, we help Facebook's algorithm. We help train it to get better, to find us more people like the people doing the high value activity. Because when we send it back to them and say, here's a thousand that all did this really good thing that we like, they go, okay, we know what those people look like. Let us go find you more people like that. And it continues over time to refine this audience. So here's one of the ways they come back, Kristen. Everywhere they go after they've been on your website, we put the, we install a pixel on their browser. We just start following them around. So they're on Facebook and Instagram. We start showing them property ads. If they go to some of the app networks, they get ads for you. We're continually, you know, there's other ways, right? You've got your listing alerts. And today, if, if they come in through Brivity Connect, we're going to automatically get a listing alert set up similar to the property that they looked at on your website. So they're going to immediately start getting you know, once a day, hey, here's new listings similar to that one you looked at. Then they're going to have ads just like this, these ads, right? Property ads that are running that the inventory in those ads is automatically going to be updated. So today they see the ad, they scroll through it and they go, ah, nothing in there. And they, and tomorrow they come back and they're like, Ooh, wait, I didn't see that one yesterday. And they go, Oh, actually I like this one. So we're constantly and continually putting properties and your business and your, and your, you know, your value proposition in front of them in, in an advertising format. Feed is live, right? The, the new listings go, these days this is important, right? The new listings are there right away, right? As fast as we're grabbing them from your MLS, which in most of your MLS is every 15 minutes or, or sooner, okay? When they go pending in there because we don't want a bunch of people raising their hand and saying, hey, I want this house. Kevin, Kevin, can you take me to see this one? And you're like, oh, no, they always raise their hand on ones that are sold. Although these days, the houses are pending by the next day in a lot of your markets. Okay, so beyond, beyond the, the, the retargeting of properties, okay, we're, we're doing this, this brevity display network where we've got, it's, it's tens of thousands of websites. I saw the list one time and there's sites on there I never heard of, or, but there's a bunch that we have, right? ESPN, CNN. Fox News, the Wall Street Journal, any of your locals, like you know, in Bellingham here, it's the Bellingham Herald, the Seattle Times gets them. Okay, it's just this, this saturation of their experience on the internet. So again, if they, and I don't care if they play Candy Crush or if they play Clash of Clans, and they play games on their phone or they, they look at apps on their phone. I read this news app and every like third story I read, there's an ad that comes up in between every third story. That's where we're going to be. We're going to implant you into this person's world so that over and over they're seeing you, right? Maybe it's on CNN like Mr. Bob Wallsmith is here. Maybe it's on the Wall Street Journal like the Ben Kinney team's ad is here. Now, you're, you're going to have listing alerts and market reports going because that's a function of Brivity. And, and if you never did Brivity Connect, you should still be leveraging listing alerts and market reports, right? This is just one of our, this is one of our team's um, this is a lot of traffic, right? They had 234 website visitors the day that I grabbed this that day, or sorry, the day before yesterday, right? They had 962 in the last week, 1,332 in the last 14 days. This was, for this particular team, this was 50, it was just a little over 50% growth of, of their, so how, how are we gonna convert? Well, we've got, we've got auto plans and I hope everybody in here, and you don't have to be using it, but we give you guys the Ben Kinney teams. And I, if you don't know who Ben is, by the way, I've mentioned his name a few times. He owns Brevity. His teams sold over 6,000 homes last year and was the number one Keller Williams team. This is the plan that we use to convert these Facebook leads. We give it to you guys. You guys can have the plan. It's called our 10 days of pain. It's the Facebook version of our 10 days of pain. Okay. This combine and, and then we show you everything have all the re, the revisits we show you those actually on your dashboard i'll um i don't do this very often but i, I have 20 minutes left here and uh, right before i get to the kind of here's how you guys can jump in and and do this i'm gonna uh i'm just gonna show you guys inside of one of these accounts here so the, I'm going to show you Ben's team in Bellingham, Washington, and the uh, the amount of traffic that they get. And then they got a big database, right? Don't get me wrong; it's a, it's a very large database. And but inside of our dashboard here, what we'll see is activity around 
the, the, the return visitors to their website. So we can see three minutes ago, Kay Zimmel returned to the Riverty website from a, uh, a retargeting campaign, right? Uh, this, so let, let's just go in and look at this lady for just a second. Cause I think it, it helps to kind of bring this thing to life. And by the way, and I don't even know if I've said this yet. It's a, it's a gross dereliction of duty. If I haven't, um, we don't just engage the leads we generate for you through Facebook. Okay. Anybody that hits your website, we get, give, we give them the pixel and we start following them around trying to display property ads to them. So if you currently have people that are coming to your website, we'll get them coming back even more frequently. Okay. If, if, if we can just get them to the site once, which is what the listing alerts are designed to do right now, if it's the lead we just generated for you, they've been on the site and we, and we start to follow them right from the jump, but we can actually engage people that maybe have, you know, have, have been, so this, this lady originally came in on Facebook, right? Three months ago, we can see that she signed up here over those three months. Look at all the times we've driven her back here, right? All this return activity here, right? On one and one and, we came in here on 112, she returned. On, on 118, she returned. Think about how many times she's seen the, the Ben Kinney team ads. How many times she's driven back to her website because of those ads. This lady must think, and she sees their ads on CNN and ESPN, the Bellingham Herald. In her head, ben, the Ben Kinney team spends a, a billion dollars on average. These guys are everywhere. Everywhere I go, on my phone and on my computer, they're there. And we can see this like massive every couple of days, she's coming back off of these ad sets five days ago, nine days ago, two days ago, five hours ago, four minutes ago, right? She was, we engaged her five hours ago, real early this morning, right when she got out of bed. And then she's now at, on her coffee break at work and we're engaging her on Facebook again. Look at her web activity. Right? I mean, this is a, I wish I could say this was a setup. It wasn't, it's just randomly we grabbed out of, out of there. The, the traffic numbers in some ways are, are pretty staggering normally in this account. Again, I haven't, it's been a, at least a week since I've been in this account, okay? But they have on a daily basis, hundreds and hundreds of opportunities. And we saw one right there, right? One lady that, you know, this program has given us multiple opportunities over the last three months since she first became a lead by driving her back in here and basically presenting her to our agents right here, right? Here they are, two minutes ago, two minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes ago, right? We go all the way to the bottom here. They had 50 people on their website in the last two hours, right? Many of these are, are visitors that we've engaged and returned right here, right? Alejandro came back. Uh, who else? Linda came back. Kay, there's Kay's other visit from earlier this morning, right? We see Connie and it's just over and over and over again, Michael and Linda. All right, enough about that. I, I showed you guys this, this slide kind of live and in person, but the idea is they come back, they come back. The more properties we have, the smarter conversations we can have, the warmer those calls are, Debbie, because they, they've been seeing you everywhere. And when they answer the phone, they're like, yeah, yeah, I know who you are, Debbie, I see you everywhere. easier conversions, refines your lead gen budget, right? We can actually get you just as many leads as you get today, maybe for a more affordable cost, or maybe if you're willing to commit that same amount that you're spending with Zillow here, we can get you like many, many more engaged visitors. So here's how you're gonna join the launch group. And so I'm gonna answer Debbie's question. I think that's a great question. Um, well, now hold on, Sarah. I don't, Sarah, we can't use Debbie's existing website if her website is, a, a Boomtown website. Like if you have an existing Brivity website, Debbie, yes, we use your existing Brivity website. If you are not currently a Brivity customer, you would need to get the Brivity, our Brivity website. And if that's, we, we have a very affordable option for the Brivity website. We also have kind of this full Brivity platform where Brivity does a whole lot more than just a website. Um, we've got text, text call to action, text lead stuff. We've got a design tool. We've got a thing called Brivity Marketer where you can run your own single property Facebook ads and send postcards automatically. Um, Brivity's got a lot, but it does have to be a Brivity website. So here's what you're going to do if you want to join the launch group. And before you do this, 
you can't do it yet because I haven't given you the, you're going to, I'm going to have you text in. You guys will use quickly. Debbie, if you're not a, a client of ours today, you'll get a little small taste of quickly, which is our text to lead system. This is the people we're looking for. We're still in a beta here. Okay. So we are looking, we are interested in people that are willing to, to give us feedback if you have it. Right. If you're like, this is amazing and there's nothing, I'm good. Cool. Right. But if you're like, man, I wish I did this or I wish I could see that or, Right? We do want feedback. You've got to be somebody that, that wants a high volume of high quality leads. But you, you really do have to be somebody, I think, that has like systems in place to convert leads. Brevity would be a great example of that. You're leveraging the 10 days of pain, right? Your agents are, are bought in on lead conversion, right? You realize the value of branded and you're committed to building a recognizable real estate brand in your local market. And you want to, you want to increase your business in 2021. So if that, if that describes you on the right, Here's the kicker, okay? There are two price points you can get in on this thing. There's really, there's really one and then there's kind of this other. It's $1,500 a month. That's what Brivity Connect is. What we do is we dedicate a third of that budget. A third of the budget goes to new lead generation. A third of the budget goes to this retargeting concept where we are putting continually putting properties in front of these people that have been on your website and the leads that we've generated for you. And the other third of the budget goes to that massive assault of branding campaigns everywhere they go on the internet. Now, there's a light version. We have a thing called Connect Light. Connect Light is $500. It's just the leads. And it's a really good volume of leads and, and people have had success with that, okay? Here's how you get, if, if you're interested in the full Brivity Connect, $1,500 a month, but you want massive engagement, you want a bunch of leads, you want us to continue to drive them back, to put your brand in front of them, creating warmer calls and happier agents, text BC20 to 59559. So pull your cell phone out. You're going to send a message to the number 59559. And the body of that message is going to be the word, the phrase BC20. That will send you back a link to Sarah and Grant's calendar, and you'll, you'll schedule a, a time on there that works for you. There's no contract term, Ron Wood. We believe in our products enough that, look, if you were, if, if you were coming to me, Ron, at, with asking for like advice, first, there's no contract. But I would tell you any leads, you should be willing to have at least a six month commitment because on average, People don't buy it's in it for, for nine months. In a perfect world, you'd, you'd commit to a year of lead gen. And then you would be real honest with yourself about your DNA on any failures. Because Ben Kinney's teams, we bought leads from everywhere. These leads are, you know, there's things we can do to make them better, like all the retargeting and the rebranding and making them warmer. And, but a lead is a lead. Like if you did our Connect Light and just got Facebook leads, they're Facebook leads. If you end up saying, I think these stink and Ben Kinney's team closes eight out of every hundred. So just be honest about your DNA on, on any failures. Um, but it's month to month. It's month to month. High five. And Ron, if, if the 1500 is a little rich for your blood, you, you could do the 500, right? You could do the 500 and, and just get the leads. Because you do still have the systems and the leverage of brevity, right? The market reports, the auto plans, the listing alerts. So you're gonna you're gonna be ahead of just the average agent out there. The full brevity connect is gonna give you a lot more touch points on that lead and allow you to stay with them on that journey, wherever they're at on their journey, right? They they might be two two years away from their destination, right? We can stay with them that whole way. Linda says, how can it benefit us for our past clients in our database? So that's an awesome question, Linda. Here's what we do is if you can get those people engaged on your website in any way, right? So maybe it's um, when every time you do a past client event, when you have them sign up for it, you drive them back, back to your website, right? You, you, you implant a form on your website and you say, hey, we're doing our, our movie event. We got to get RSVPs, go, here, go to our website. If we can just get them on your website, Linda, then what we do is we can follow them around and we can, we can present properties or, or your branding to them. Okay. So we just, we stay in front of them as long as we can get at any point to your website, we'll make sure that your past clients never forget that they see you literally every time they go on the internet 
and they're either scrolling Facebook or looking on a website or playing a game on their phone, right? You're going to be right there, always top of mind. So Linda, when you call them, right? Because you, you look, the, the most powerful weapon you guys have in your, in your arsenal is not Brivity Connect. It's the phone. It's still, it's always going to be the phone. These make the calls warmer. These make the calls easier. These make the, you know, the, these keep you a little bit higher in their psyche, right? You still need to engage with your past clients in your sphere, right? Marker reports, by the way, Linda, if you're a Brivity client, would be the best thing we've ever created. My mom is a real estate agent. She freaking loves her market reports. Like once a month, she gets a come list me hand raiser from market reports. Stephanie, does this work better? I, it doesn't work any better for a team than it would work for an individual agent. One of the things I would say, and you can talk to Sarah or Grant about this, um, you could, as a, it's, it's, it's a lot for a single agent. It's, it's a lot. The, the lead volume is, is extensive. But if you're somebody that's organized, you could totally get brevity into a position where the listing, where you're basically like kind of skimming off the top, right? If you were a team, you can get a little bit deeper in with your leads because there's so many leads. And, and in order to convert them, like you do have to get deep, right? Connect helps you get deep because it's engaging them. It's bringing them back. It's putting your messaging in front of them. But with the phone calls and the text messages, so the more of those that you can make into your database and your leads, the more likely you are to convert them. But we've got auto plans, right? So we can get, you know, we can get a cadence where your leads are getting texts and, and emails. You know, you, you still do have to find the time to get in there and call them. But I would say, Stephanie, somebody that's a single agent who's, if you're not committed to like a system or a process for lead conversion, it's going to be challenging for you, I guess is what I would say. If you don't have any concept in your life or your world of like time blocking where you're dedicating at least a little bit of time each day to, to lead conversion and to work in your database, like if you don't, aren't a single agent who, who has those skills, you, you might struggle a little bit just because of the volume, right? What you'll end up doing is just screaming, skimming the cream, the little, skimming the cream off the top and not necessarily getting the full value out of, out of what we generate for you. There will be value. Don't get me wrong. All right, so if you wanna do the light version where it's $500 and we just go out, we generate a bunch of, bunch of great leads for you, you can text light to 59559 and you can hop on Sarah or Grant's calendar there and talk about the light version, which is just the Facebook leads. And again, we, we treat you similar, right? We, we still consult with you on, on what type of a campaign you'd like to run and what your market looks like right now and what's your desired type of a buyer or seller. Um, you know, cause ultimately Ron, we, we want you to have some success at this level, get a little bit more budget dedicated or saved up or, or committed in the business. And then you just move to the full level. And the cool thing, if you went from light to, to the full brevity connect is all them people that we've been generating as leads, we can, they already got the pixel. So we can turn the retargeting on, on those people fairly easy after they've, they've, they've been there. All right. So that is, that's it. Um, and I know I didn't get every single question here. So if you do want to PC and SOI are also, no. So our mind uh, that your past clients in your SOI would not be part of the version because if you think about the way I explain, so it's just new leads. We just get you new leads with the light version. When you're doing the full connect, we're dedicating a third of your budget to new leads, a third of your budget to property retargeting, and a third of your budget to the brand uh, display ad retargeting. The property retargeting and the brand display ad retargeting are the two aspects that, that cover your past clients in your sphere, assuming that we can get them to your website. So those are not a part of the light version. The light version is strictly just new leads. Hey, Linda, I appreciate you. Thanks so much. Um, Roman, I will, Roman, can you do me a favor? Get, Put your email address on here for me really fast. Just maybe like send it directly to me on the, or here, let me write your name down. I can probably find you in our system somehow. Roman. You know, Roman, we have a Ben Kinney team in Toronto. So I'll track down and see if Austin and his guys are using this already. Thank you, Roman, for your, your email there. All right. Debbie, um, it's my pleasure. And you know, Debbie, if you talk to your team lead and if you guys want to jump on Grant's calendar and have a conversation with Sarah or Grant 
Um, unfortunately, Grant wasn't able to be here today. I, I left him very short notice, and he's actually on a call with a Brevity Connect uh, prospect, somebody who's thinking about signing up for it right this minute. So um, Sarah did join us. She's been answering a bunch of your guys' questions in the background. Thank you, Sarah. Appreciate you. James Ong, as always, appreciate you being in the background. Listen, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. You guys uh, get out there, and let, let me ask you this as we leave here. Kevin, who's going to sell – the most expensive house this weekend. Bruce, is it going to be you? Brian Thompson? Ashley? Anybody going to go over a million dollars? Anybody going to put a million dollars in sales on the board this weekend? Is it going to be Russell Robbins? Kevin says, no, it's not going to be a million, but he's going to do it fast. You have a listing you just put on the market yesterday, Kevin. How many offers have you had so far, buddy? A few, I would imagine, in Austin, Texas. All right. Four offers the next day. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right. You guys have an awesome weekend. No, have an awesome rest of your week. My name is Bob Stewart. This has been Brevity Connect. If you're interested in it, you can text BC20 to 59559 or light to 59559. Kristen, thank you. I appreciate you. Chance, awesome. Schedule this consult. High five. Haley, good to see you. Bill, you're welcome, sir. You guys have an awesome one. We'll talk to you guys later.